Soil is one of my passions. Back when I was convinced the world was going to end, I dove headfirst into learning skills for self-sufficiency. We even moved out into the country where I got chickens and started a food forest. I thought I might want to follow my grandfather's footsteps and become a farmer at one point, but my love of travel halted those dreams. That did not stop my voracious studying, however. I took a thorough and fantastic permaculture course with Starhawk, and from there dug deeper and deeper until I discovered the secret, the overlooked but supremely important gem, soil. I was convinced I'd found my life's purpose, the way I could fulfill my yearning to be of service to our mother Gaia. The universe had other plans, at least so far, but nonetheless, I took classes, became certified, listened to hundreds of hours of podcasts, read books, and truly submerged myself in an intensive education of this incredible living resource. Recently, I was listening to an astrology update from the fabulous and illustrious Pam Gregory, and in it, she expressed pity for farmers in Finland after recent legislature forbidding them from using nitrogen. However, my soil-loving heart cried out, this is wonderful. This is not a tragedy, but an opportunity. Yes, I feel sorry for the farmers also. All they've been taught, all they've ever known, is the program the chemical companies have forced upon them. And now they are being asked to change course with what I presume is inadequate preparation, training, and financial support. However, plants only take up about 5% of the nitrogen that's applied on farmland to begin with. The other 95% gets rinsed into the water supply, causing algae blooms, killing fish, and toxifying water supplies. Here in Oregon, there are many communities that have such high levels of nitrates that it is unsafe. These nitrate levels can cause stillbirths in animals and humans and can increase risk for sudden infant death syndrome. These are affluent communities also, and most people are completely unaware. I hate to think about what's happening in the less affluent communities. The amazing thing is, if you simply create healthy soil, these synthetic and excess nitrogen dumps are completely unnecessary. Farmers and consumers alike can only benefit greatly from going back to working with Mother Nature rather than fighting against her. Farmers who choose what are called regenerative approaches produce higher quality, more nutrient-dense crops, which means they can charge a higher rate. They also significantly lower their costs for all the inputs they use in conventional systems. All the pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, fertilizers, and cost of gas in their tractors going back and over and over and over their farmland to plow seed and harvest the land. They can triple their profits while providing healthier food to people and animals, while also improving the health of the environment rather than devastatingly diminishing it. It is a major triple win. So, although it might seem a bit offbeat from the rest of the content on this channel, I felt called to bring awareness to these measures. These are measures we can all advocate for and spread awareness of in our communities, both locally and nationally. And we can use them in our own gardens as well. Thank you, fellow friend of Gaia, for watching and coming along with me on this journey.